right over here. Uh, great to keep your stinky shoes away from your wedding gown. Your wedding gown? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, could be. Today we'll be looking at a $495 piece of luggage, which their manufacturers say will change your life to become something much more epic. On a 007 with car chases and tailored suits, action and stuff. And we'll also see if this traveling necessity can withstand a drop from a passenger airplane. Whoop what? Before we go any further, I really want to talk about the video for the Caputo carry-on. It is over the top and it's kind of amazing. They definitely spent a lot of money on production and it's they had a lot of fun. It's very entertaining. So at the very least, you've got to go onto their page and check it out. I'll provide a link down below. And if I'm going to believe everything that I see on TV, which I do, then you'll understand how the Kabuto will now make your life richer, better in every way. Totally. Yeah, I can imagine that with the Kabuto by his side, Danny will become more handsome, smarter, if that's even possible, and more effective at storing his personables when traveling. With that said, let's crack it open and take a look at the Kabuto carry on. So at first glance, personally, I'm thinking, how is this piece of luggage worth $450? I mean, it looks great. It's got a nice, sexy design. Yeah. I mean, I can see that there's multiple different materials being used here, from what looks like a hard plastic to some reinforced fabrics, good zippers, but it's still a piece of luggage at the end of the day. Right, I mean, nothing revolutionary, at least not at first glance. So that's when we had to get in there and take a deep dive <laughs> into how each of the features really works to really understand if this piece of luggage is worth the big bucks. Yeah, because you can invest in this piece of luggage for your next flight, or you can actually buy the ticket for the next flight for practically the same price. Okay, so these wheels are pretty amazing. Uh, they go 360 in every direction. Yeah, which is a definite improvement from my cheap piece of luggage back home, which only goes in one direction. And they're totally silent. Uh, like we were running it around the office trying to get it to squeak, but no, you're pretty much a ninja sneaking into lines in the airport <laughs> with this luggage. Oh yeah, and the handle is a bit strange though. Uh, for me, there's no problem opening it up because I've got quick and nimble fingers like a thief. But if someone's got sausage fingers or maybe just a little too much sodium in their diet, they're going to have a hard time sliding their fingers under this pretty tight handle. Right, true. Um, maybe so, but then there's also the bigger handle, which with the press of a button can be extended. Let me show you how the heck do I do that? Press the button, there <laughs> you go. There we go. Um, and then you can lay the luggage back, roll it around, just like a Disney princess on the dance floor. Or walk around with it vertically. I mean, there's something to be said about walking around with your luggage like this. Right. But then, there's the buttons. A there's lot. a lot of them, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of buttons on here. In, in fact, when I first looked at the Kabuto carry-on, it was a little too many buttons. I had no idea what each did, and it took me a little while to figure things out. But luckily, the luggage comes with a quick start guide and one of our favorite things, descriptive user's manual. Yes, I love being told what to do. Uh, a user's manual for the carry-on. I mean, damn, dude, that's the future has arrived and it has arrived on wheels. Tires, tires, not wheels. Right, <laughs> okay. So anyway, these buttons like this one at the very top right here, I still have no clue what this does to this day. I keep pressing on it, hoping that something will happen, and I'm seeing nothing change in the luggage itself. My only guess is that somewhere in Japan, someone is getting punched in the face by a kangaroo. But I guess that's what makes this thing so cool. It's that there's a lot of built-in technology in there that might not be apparent at first sight, but once you start digging a little deeper, there's really a lot of cool features. Yeah, uh, like on the backside here, there is the small carrying case, which, let me open this up. It's a great place for holding documents, your passport, anything including more important things like your smartphone or laptop. And these things can be charged while stored inside, thanks to this pass-through power right here and the power cables inside. Getting to the main compartment, it has these really thick zippers which can be unlocked using your registered fingerprint or the included key. But check this out. That's awesome. Wow. And, and I love, it's got that satisfying mechanical whirl as it's uh, unlocking. And, and it looks like here 
uh, written on the luggage. There's some kind of code which is written on the luggage itself, which I'm assuming means that TSA baggage security probably has a copy of Did this key. Uh, probably, may I, I doubt it. That's some weird technology right there, but it could upload your fingerprint technology like over to them. I think it's more for the key so they can unlock it and it means that they don't have to rip it open or take bolt cutters to the luggage to get it open. Yeah, which has happened to me personally. I mean, they took bolt cutters to my zipper yeah, once and just too. totally destroyed it. They don't even cut the lock, they cut the zipper itself. Yeah, which makes it obsolete from then on out. Right, so now when we're opening up the main compartment, this part I thought was really innovative. Um, let's see, open it up and hidden up top. Oh, one thing, I, I like how it opens up vertically. Yeah, so the idea here is these catch it so your clothes don't fall out if you need to grab something from your suitcase on the go. Yeah. But then, yeah, you can open these up. And what was that really cool thing you thought? There's just a bunch of stuff in there. Inside, it's extremely well organized. There's multiple pockets on the sides. There's also some on the back panel. Yeah. And inside of that, there's also special carrying cases for other belongings that you want it separate from everyday things. Yeah, if you want to segregate, there's multiple different pockets here and even a plastic bag, which I'm assuming will keep any valuable safe. Toiletries? Could be for toiletries. I was thinking in just in case there's any liquids that might spill inside your luggage, so yeah. whatever's inside here will be protected. Or you put the toiletries inside here so that if they explode, it's all contained. Don't talk about explosions with luggage. <laughs> and then there is this suspicious what the fuck zipper that horizontally goes all the way across the bag. Yeah, I wasn't sure what this was for, so we kind of stayed away from it until after looking at the instruction manual and we were blown away to find out that what it's actually used for is to extend the case. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! Let me see. We can do this. It's a little complicated. It, it has it a... locks in place. It's got a learning curve. 346 minutes later. Did it lock? No. Maybe that's this... what this button's for. Okay, wait. No, no. I think it's... Oh, shoot. Much, much, much later. Wait, wait. Here. 2,000 years later. We got this. We got this. Just don't touch it. Don't, don't move. Don't breathe. Okay, I think it's good. Boom. Shoo, mind, mind blown. blown! That was amazing! Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Because usually they've got those extending zippers that make them wider, but not taller. Yeah. Extending the carry-on is one of those moments where you have to be smarter than the luggage itself. And so, of course, it took us both a little while to figure it out. Uh, but you lift the rolling handle all the way, then you pull the luggage to the desired extension, take the luggage handle and put it back down, then it should lock into place. And Super simple, just like that. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Actually, almost. No. I mean, it took it took a little bit of trying, but it's pretty darn complicated. You but wouldn't it, be doing this two or three times a day. You know, <laughs> once is enough. <laughs> it's got a learning curve, but once you figure it out, I think it works well. So being able to extend the luggage this way is so cool, and I really love this feature. But I will say that the extension is a lighter fabric. Yeah. So you might not want to keep your valuables down down under. But, you know, you could use it for something like shoes or clothes. Ah, not shoes. There's actually a special compartment for that. Show me where. <laughs> it's right over here. Ah. Great to keep your stinky shoes away from your wedding gown. Your wedding gown? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, could be. Or, I mean, I guess if you want to, like, hide your improvised explosive device or maybe the gold you're smuggling out of Africa, it's the perfect place. No one will suspect anything. Definitely. And in this hidden compartment over here, you've got the 10,000 milliampere hour ba power bank. Typical power bank should charge your phone around five times, maybe your MacBook once. It's got the USB micro, USB-C, and your standard USB-A slots. And I mean, in essence, you can take this out and just install your own in here and go up to 20,000. 30,000, you know, charge your <laughs> laptop three, four, or five times. Yeah, so it's all modular and you can always increase power as you need it. 
Uh, the power is passed through into this detachable bag where you can charge your devices via the included micro and USB-C cables. Plus it's three amp fast charging. It's also airplane safe. So they've kind of thought of everything. Yeah, it's one of those very small yet extremely important details manufacturers of Kabuto carry on have taken into consideration. So with all that said, going through all the different features and functionalities of this bag, I personally think that the Kabuto carry-on is pretty darn awesome. This is one of those products which I first looked at and thought, whoa, there's a lot going on here. Um, it's not possible or will be done cheap. But after getting my hands on it, I can tell you that everything is well thought out, well designed and executed, and keeping things at around three kilograms. Yeah, so it is a little bit heavy, but not much more than your standard suitcase. Now there are some other luggages out there which are rechargeable. Some have nice interior and vertical opening like this, but from our research, there are none in the market that have included all the features in one bag. Yeah, fingerprint security, built-in power bank charging, a nice, good design and extendable cargo space. Yeah, I really like this carry-on too. Now, is it worth the $450? I mean, that's up for you to decide. Me, I don't travel enough, at least not right now at yeah. this capacity. I do more hiking, more backpacking, that kind of stuff where I want to keep it as minimal and light as possible and keep that weight on my back. So the Kabuto seems more of your, for your traditional business trip kind of person or someone that commutes regularly via airplane. For those people, I think it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I used to have a job like that where I'd travel regularly for work and I would definitely want a bag at that time <laughs> for something like this. Uh, it was probably designed for a frequent flyer just like that in mind. Now, the team behind Kabuto did have some problems in the past with shipping the carry-on we have in the studio with us today, and they're still dealing with resolving those issues. Yeah, and have now started a new campaign for an upgrade to this luggage, even though all previous orders have yet to be fulfilled. This has kind of become a common practice for some campaigners to outsource shipping and manufacturing, and therefore it has become normal for groups to market a new product, even though all the backers of a previous product haven't yet received their products. No bueno. Yeah. Even though this is understandably frustrating, the fact that this product has a lifetime guarantee, the quality seems top notch, and we've read feedback from many a happy customer, we feel confident in the Kabuto team and the product line. Yeah. So yeah, if you are someone who travels often or wants to upgrade your carry-on, please take another look at the Kabuto carry-on. You might just like what you see. But one last thing before we go, let's do a durability test. Shall we? And why not? This is a piece of luggage after all. So let's treat it as if, I don't know, the people at baggage handling had butterfingers and maybe they dropped it. From parked 747 passenger plane. So obviously we couldn't get a 747 on such short notice, but this is the next best thing. Let's throw it from the office and see what happens. Ready? Let's do it. Drop that sucker. Bingo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, let's see what it looks like. Moment of truth. Okay, it's a little bit dusty. This works. The wheels are fine. Yeah, it looks like it survived. It's all good. Ready to go. And in the end, even though this bag may not make your life any sexier, you might not become richer because of this bag, I do think you will travel better in style and with the comfort and convenience of all these features by your side. But let me ask you one question. I mean, really the fingerprint sensor. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty cool feature. You just tap it there, boom, pops open. But haven't they kind of over-engineered for the, for the wrong reasons? It's a cloth bag. If somebody really wanted to get in there and steal your shoes, they could just take a knife to it. Totally. So, Kabuto, what is Danny telling you? He's uh, saying, get rid of the fingerprint <laughs> scanner or make a piece of luggage that's harder to get into. Yeah, definitely. It'd be nice if the hard plastic wrapped around the whole suitcase. Yeah, or if it had a force field. That's Kabuto 3. Or electricity that whenever anyone touched it, it shocked them. I don't know, some other level of security. Or We're if it was waiting. like the Kabuto Pokemon, no? It was a little shelled, shelled animal. Yeah, you go, carry on, go! <laughs> and you just throw it out there and it pops out. 
That's a good one. Uh, so that was the Kabuto carry-on. So if you like the suitcase, you like the video, you like our faces, like and subscribe to our video for more content like this. And leave a comment, you know, what are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? Did you bag the suitcase? What did you think about Kabuto? Yeah, please uh, talk to us. Let us know what you're thinking. We're hoping to build a community around Tech I Want, so we're looking forward to hearing from you guys. And until next time, this was Tech I Want. See ya.